Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert this text file into an Excel format. That means you can convert this file into rows and columns and apply Excel formats and you can easily analyze this data. For this example, I'm only using this small file, but think about if you have a huge file that spans across page and page, it is impossible to analyze the data just using this text file. To do that, open the Excel application, open a blank workbook and go to file, open that file like any other file and it is going to be on the desktop and make sure you select all files because Excel by default will be looking for this extension only. Select all files and now you type in G, that is a grocery, double click on that file. The first step is determine the original data type. In here, Excel automatically detected it is a delimited file. It says the text wizard has determined that your data is delimited. If this is correct, choose next or choose the data type that best describes your data. Of course, it is a delimited file. It is not a fixed width data file. And you can see your file underneath here. And I'm going to check this one. My data has headers because the first line is header and then I'm going to click next, go to the second step. This is the data preview. But if you look at here, this is not I wanted. I wanted in a rows and columns format. So you need to select these option appropriately to convert your file into rows and columns. So let's look at my data files. What are the characters I have as a delimiter? I have commas and I have semicolons in some places there are two semicolons and I also have dollar sign. And finally, I have a space here. So let me select what I have here. I don't have tab and I have semicolons and I have commas and I have space. You see, when I click the space, it just cut down the space here. And I need to check this also because treat consecutive delimiters as one. I put these two semicolon purposely because I want to show you how these consecutive delimiters works. And the last one is I want to have this dollar sign come here, but I do not have dollar sign listed. So I go to others and I'm going to type in dollar sign and you see all the dollars come here. So this is how I wanted my text file converted into rows and columns. So everything looks good here. I'm going to click next and I'm going to select a general. That means general converts numeric values to numbers, date values to dates and all remaining values to text. That's what I wanted. I'm going to click finish and you see it come beautifully into rows and columns format. I'm going to make the header bold and I'm going to double click here to adjust the column size and let's filter it out. I'm going to sort, I'm going to filter, but now it is easy to analyze this data. Let's go here and uh, unselect everything here. I want all apples here. So you can compare prices between different kinds of apples. And let me go back here unselect everything and go to chicken. And you have only one chicken here. Let's uh, select lemons. And you have two different lemons. One is a Mexican one, other one is a organic. So you can see the price difference. Finally, you have to save this file into an Excel format. Let's go back, select all, file, save as, this PC, desktop, grocery, and go back here and make it as an Excel workbook. Save, close everything. This is the Excel file. Open this up and you see you have the Excel formatted file. So this is how you convert a text file into a Excel format. If you find any value in this video, give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification if you want to get notified about my future video.